Greetings, Salaamu Alaikum, Namaste, Etasen, Bawani, and the list goes on. My name is Kai Kretasia, and you are here on the Ayami channel. So, this is the final video of International Women's Month series, and I wanted to keep it sacred and special and true to my heart. So, I'm going to share a small clip it a small snippet of the Ayami logo, the Ayami animation and the jingle. So let's start from the Beningin. I've been trying to create this logo for so long. Since I was 19, I knew that I wanted the logo to look beautiful, to look feminine. See, what's been happening is I keep on getting clip -its and downloads and small but never the full, the full, not holistic, the full branch of things. So all I knew, oh, should I go and get the picture? Oh God, the writing. Listen, before anyone cusses me, I cannot draw. So here's my drawing. From the beginning, I knew that I wanted Ayami to be the logo. Um, here's the animation. Oh Focus on this bit. Here's the animation as well. And I wanted it to look beautiful, feminine, cultural, ancient. Um, I had one of my spiritual aunties draw it up for me. She's a graphic designer and I absolutely loved it. And it was kind of in alignment because I saw it in a dream. It was an Adinkra symbol. Anyway, it just didn't transfer over well and so that's why we've been without a logo for such a long time funnily enough funnily enough last year i was at work um not working and <laughs> it dawned on me not even dawned on me i got a download saying that this is how the logo should look i don't know if you can see it too clearly i'm going to add two pictures right here so you can see what the logo was supposed to look like so I let it marinate in my mind. I asked for months, different people. Could you do this? Could you do the animation? There were times when I'm not gonna lie, I was on pause, I was on break and I was thinking of other things. But as the spring equinox came, I was just like, you know what? This would be the perfect opportunity to showcase this. Right, next step is finding these people. Me being me, I am um, a fundamental component of it is culture and I wanted our people, like this is for us, by us. So that was like an additional hassle. But luckily enough, I was able to find a Ghanaian brother who was able to do the logo and a Jamaican brother that did the animation. I was so happy. My sister, my good sister friend, um, who lives really close to me actually, she did the jingle. If you haven't seen the video, check it, it's gonna be in the link down below. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it all eventually came together. It all started to manifest and I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is yet. Things that I really, 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 really want. It takes forever and a day to come. Hardship. That certain placement. Bloody hell. It takes it so long. It, it takes such a long time for it to manifest for me. But I'm so happy with the logo now. Is it exactly how I envisioned it? No. But do you know what? I think it emits the essence of Ayami. So let's dive into the depth and the philosophy of the logo. I love things that are sub subconscious, that are almost occultic, that are hidden to certain eyes. My tattoo here, it's not interpretable for everybody. Some people might just pluck a few, few things and that is the energy that I wanted to bring into the logo. So because you're here, of course, I'll share some of the layers of it with you. The E is this beautiful, buxom, voluptuous, curvaceous, naked, melanated woman she's got her waist beads and she's just in her divine feminine essence the why actually I'm gonna put it here I'll put the logo here the why is a woman surrendering submitting to the supreme being to the highness to the universe to God to Allah to whoever you refer to the all as um, the E is the second E is a peacock in honor to Mama Oshun I'm not gonna get too spiritual with it so I'll just leave it at that similarly the A is reference to Mama Yemeya um, with the waves underneath the waves representing the, the ocean the M is actually my favorite letter and it's two women and they're offering gifts but it doesn't necessarily have to be physical gifts it could be words of wisdom it could be life experience it could be advice it could be a, a you know a shoulder and they are they have their own information and they have unified information finally we have the e the e is a cowrie shell often used in african adornment in accessorizing and beautifying in jewelry but it also has a deeper meaning centuries ago in western africa they used it as currency it's a tool for spiritual 
spiritual divination so that's like a brief overview i also want to add a little numerology in there so ayami um there's six letters six is the the energy of balance six is a feminine number it's about compassion and nurturing and service and um nurses and midwives and teachers and i wanted to really bring that all into the logo all right then sisters i really wanted to share that like i know it's not an essential part of International Women's Month or International Women's History but it's a part of my own journey and my own story and Ayami really is like my firstborn and I wanted to share a piece of her with you guys so I hope you enjoyed just getting to understand the behind the scenes and the essence of it all way high tired oh god <laughs> bless up take care and remember Ayami in everything Hold on sis, please like, comment, share and subscribe.